Hey guys, how well do you know the tab function in Pro Tools? So, the tab key is a quick and efficient way to navigate within your Pro Tools Sessions track playlist. It's one of those essential keyboard shortcuts that every engineer should know. I always recommend memorizing keyboard shortcuts like this one because real professional engineers have mastered the art of improving efficiency and impressing clients using keyboard shortcuts. The tab key is no exception. Your tab key on your computer's keyboard will quickly and efficiently bring your cursor to clip boundaries. All you have to do is press the tab key and your edit cursor will move to the next clip boundary to the right of the cursor's current location. You can also reverse the direction of the edit cursor by holding the Option key on a Mac or Control on a Windows computer and then pressing the Tab key. This will make the cursor move to the previous clip boundary to the left of the cursor's current location. You can also keep pressing the Tab key in either of these situations, either by moving to the right with the Tab key or to the left via Option and Tab, in order to make the cursor move to the next successive clip boundary. So, I like to use the tab key to highlight clips, quickly make a selection, or just navigate around my session. So I'll show you guys an example. If I want a selection to begin and end on a precise clip boundary, then all I have to do to make my desired selection is to click near the start point clip boundary. I'll usually click to the left of the start point, and that's only so I don't have to use the option key to reverse the direction of the highlight. Then I'll press tab to bring the cursor to that desired start point clip boundary. I'll then make a highlighted selection by holding shift and pressing tab again until the end of my highlighted section arrives at the end point clip boundary. You can also use this technique to highlight a section with a cursor starting position that's not at a clip boundary. To do that, just drop your cursor at the desired position. This can be anywhere and it doesn't necessarily need to be at a clip boundary. Then hold shift and hit tab to highlight from that point to the next clip boundary to the right of your edit cursor. You can then hit tab again to continue to extend the highlight to the next clip boundary. Another thing you can do is you can drop your cursor anywhere and then hold the option key or control if you're on a Windows computer and hold shift and then hit tab. This will highlight from your chosen cursor location to the nearest clip boundary that's to the left of the cursor location. Basically, holding option will reverse the direction of the action. This is a common function for the option key or control key in Windows. It will often reverse whatever you're doing in some way in Pro Tools. Another thing to note is that the tab key is what is called a repeater key. This means that if you hold down the tab key, it will not just be as if you hit the tab key once. Instead, it will be as if you're hitting the tab key repeatedly and quickly, and your selection will tab rapidly from one clip boundary to the next. You'll be at the edge of your session before you know it, so just be aware of that fact. So there you have some basics on the tab key. Next video, I think I'll continue along these lines and make a video on tab to transients in Pro Tools. So let me know what you think of videos like these in the comments below. And that's it for today. I hope you guys liked this video. For today's question, I wanna know, what's your favorite interface to use with Pro Tools and why? I might be planning some shopping soon. Please leave your answers in the comments below. Also, I kind of soft launched my Patreon over the past few weeks, so if you feel so inclined, the link is in the description and I would love for you guys to check that out. Also, if you like this video, please hit the little like button, share the video, or subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming out with new videos every other Wednesday, and thanks for watching. Okay.